Hi everyone, The Simple Dad here. Samsung Galaxy devices are more than just smartphones. They're packed with powerful hidden tools and customization options that can make your phone smarter, faster, and more personal. So in this guide, we'll uncover seven amazing Samsung features that many people don't even know exist. So from boosting performance to creating unique lock screen effects, these tips will help you unlock your Galaxy full potential. And yes, most of these features can also be done on other Samsung Galaxy phones, not just the latest model. So let's begin. So the first feature is where we can have the floating accessibility shortcut menu. So the floating accessibility shortcut menu places a small movable button on your screen. Tapping it reveals shortcut to important functions like magnifier, color inversions, color highlights, voice assist, brightness, and many other controls. So let me show you how to get this floating accessibility shortcut on your screen for your Samsung Galaxy device. So here you need to first go ahead and open up the settings. Next, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find accessibility. Now tap on advanced settings and here find accessibility button. Tap on this and here you wanna go ahead and choose your location. So here you can go ahead and choose a navigation bar. So you can have a small accessibility icon appear here or you can have a floating over other apps. So this is what will appear right here. So a accessibility button, which will be just here. If you tap on it, this will now open up a floating menu. So you can go ahead and press anything you like. Now here you wanna go ahead and tap on select action and choose what accessibility button you want to include in that menu. So you can go ahead and choose all these controls. And as you choose more, that menu will get larger and larger. Now, when you wanna go ahead and use it, just go ahead and tap on this accessibility button. This will enlarge that menu. Now you can go ahead and choose anything you like. So this makes essential tools available in one tap, saving you time. It reduces the need for complex gestures or hardware button presses. It's a great accessibility aid for users with mobility challenges, and it's fully customizable, so you only keep the shortcuts you need. The second feature is where you can create a time-lapse on a photo. So with the Galaxy Enhance X app, you can take a still photo and transform it into a dynamic time-lapse effect. So the AI analyzes the image and creates a smooth motion, giving your photo a lively cinematic feel. So let me show you how to do this. So here you need to go ahead and open up the store, which is your Galaxy store. In Galaxy store, you wanna go ahead and search for the Enhance app. Go ahead and install this and go ahead and open it. Now you wanna go ahead and select a picture. We'll go ahead and select a picture where I wanna create the time-lapse feature on it. Now next, you wanna go ahead and tap on this creative tab. Then you wanna go ahead and create this 24 hour time-lapse. Tap on this and this will apply the 24 hour time-lapse effect on that photo. So just give it a few seconds. And now you can go ahead and play. So as you can see, it has applied the time-lapse feature where it's basically started from the day and then it's basically turned to night and then day again. Now, if you're happy with this, you can go ahead and tap on save and this will be basically saved into your gallery. So here you can go ahead and watch it. So this turns an ordinary photo into an eye-catching animation. It's great for social media content or creative projects. It saves time compared to recording an actual time-lapse. It's easy to use and no professional editing skills required. The third feature is where you can have a hexagon lock screen effect. So using Samsung's Good Lock app and the Wonderland module, you can add a hexagon animation effect to your lock screen background. So this creates a futuristic 3D style look that reacts when you wake up your phone. So let me show you how to create this. So in order to do this, we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the Wonderland module, then tap on create your different lock screen effect. We'll go ahead and create a new one. We'll go ahead and choose a photo from our gallery. Let's say for example, this one here. Now we'll go ahead and choose close and then we'll go ahead and choose the effect type. So here we'll go ahead and choose the hexagon effect. Now next you wanna go ahead and tap on effect settings and here you wanna go ahead and choose your speed, your depth and your rounded edges. So we'll press close, go ahead and test it out. Now once you're happy, tap save here at the top right, save it again, and then go ahead and set this as a wallpaper for a lock screen only. Now once that's done, press home and go ahead and test it out. So as you can see, the hexagon lock screen effect has been applied to our lock screen. So this adds a unique stylish effect that makes your phone stand out. 
It enhances your personalization with futuristic aesthetic. You can even pair it with other Wonderland effects for a completely custom lock screen. So it works seamlessly without slowing down your device. The fourth feature is where you can use the equalizer option to enhance your sound. So the Samsung's built-in sound equalizer lets you fine tune audio output based on your preference. So you can adjust bass, treble, and mid-range frequencies, or pick from presets like rock, jazz, or classical. So let me show you how to use the equalizer option on your Samsung Galaxy device. So here, first go ahead and open up settings. Next, scroll down and find sound and vibration. Now you want to go to scroll down and find sound quality and effects. And here you want to find equalizer. Tap on this. Now here you'll see this new UI for your equalizer. Here you can go ahead and choose how you want your sound to be played. So you have a bass boost, smooth, dynamic, clear, treble boost, or you can go ahead and choose your own settings. So you can set the sound just how you like it. So this basically boosts your music and video playback quality. It allows custom sound profiles for different headphones or speakers. And this is great for audiophiles who want precise sound control. It enhances the call clarity and the voice recording as well. The fifth feature is how you can make your phone run faster. So Samsung offers two built-in ways to improve your performance. So if you notice that maybe there's a lag in your phone, your phone is not performing well, or maybe it's just reacting really slow, then you can go ahead and fix this by performing these two steps. So the first step is to optimize your phone, which basically clears background apps, cache, and temporary files. And the second one is where you can add virtual memories. So let me show you how to do the first one. So here we'll go ahead and open up settings. Next, you want to go ahead and scroll down and find device care. Now, this will basically check your phone and we'll go through all of these. So this will check battery, storage, memory, and app protection. At the top here, it'll basically ask you if you want to optimize your phone. So if you optimize now, this will basically free up more memory. So go ahead and tap on optimize now. This will basically go through background apps, battery usage, app crashes, apps are now using too much memory, checks for malware, It'll basically also look for app sending any excessive alerts and look through your storage issues as well. So once that's done, tap done, and now your phone has been optimized. Now, the second way of optimizing your phone is by going to settings again, scroll down and find device care. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down, tap on memory. Now here, scroll down again and find RAM plus. And here you wanna go ahead and switch this feature on and then go ahead and choose eight gig. So RAM plus basically uses your phone storage space to provide virtual memory. So choose more virtual memory to allow more apps to stay open in the background. If you don't have storage space, then I wouldn't recommend this. But however, if you do have a lot of storage space, go ahead and switch this on and go ahead and choose eight GB. So this makes your phone feel snappier and smoother. It reduces the lag when switching apps or gaming. It can extend the device life by keeping performance consistent over time. And virtual memory helps with multitasking, heavy apps like editing tools or games you play on your Samsung Galaxy device. The sixth feature is where you can have the glass widget theme. So with the glass widget theme or the app, you can transform your home screen widget into sleek, transparent glass-like design. So this gives your phone a more of a modern premium look. So as you can see, I've basically switched over to the glass widget theme and you, you can have the weather, you can have your compass, you can have folders in glass themes, you can have your calendar, you can have your Bluetooth control and your battery control, your music player. You can even have some games like the tap counter and there are many other options in this glass widget app. So let me show you how to get it and how to play around with this. So here you need to go ahead and first open up the Play Store. You wanna go ahead and search for the glass widget. So this is the widget you need, glass widgets. Unfortunately, this is not free. It cost me about one pound and 20 pence to buy it. So I went ahead and bought it as I felt it was really good looking at other reviews. So now once you've downloaded it, go ahead and open it. And now you'll come to this screen here. You can go ahead and tap on widgets. And from here, you can go ahead and choose all these different widgets. So you have app, battery, custom apps, calendar, analog clock, digital clock, compass, contacts, earbuds, watches, folders, games, AI shortcuts, music, note and list, pedometer, so this is your controlling walking, photo, personalize, you have quick settings, and many other settings here, many other widgets. 
If you go into settings, you can go ahead and customize your widget colors. So you can have your shape icon, your shape color, transparent color, and so on. You tap on wallpapers, you'll get all these different kinds of wallpapers where you can basically apply it to your phone. There's a big collection of wallpapers here, so you'll never get bored of it. Now, if you want to go ahead and apply any of these widgets over here, you need to go ahead and find the widget. So let's just say this game here. You want to go ahead and find the game. So let's just say this Truth and Dare game, or let's, let's say the TikTok game. So let's just say the TikTok game. We go ahead and tap on this, and then we'll go and tap on Add. Now we'll go back to your home, and now this will basically be added to your home screen. You can go ahead and move it anywhere you like. Since this is a two by two, it basically stays as a two by two widget, and then you can go ahead and start playing. So this adds a minimal, elegant aesthetic to your home screen. It makes widget blend naturally with your wallpaper. It works with a variety of widgets like weather, calendar, or music control. And it gives you customizable transparency and style for truly unique setup. And lastly, the seventh feature is where you can display contact details on your lock screen. So Samsung allows you to add a contact information directly to your lock screen, such as your name, email, or any alternative phone number. So if your phone does get lost or maybe it gets stolen and the thief basically throws over your phone as he will not be able to unlock your phone, someone can pick up your phone, switch it on and find your contact details here. And he or she will be able to return that phone to you by contacting you. So let me show you how to add contact details to your lock screen on your Samsung Galaxy device. So here you want to go ahead and first open up settings. Next, you want to go ahead and scroll down and find lock screen and AOD. Now here you want to go ahead and find contact information. Tap on this. And now here you want to go ahead and add any information. Go ahead and add your name and then go ahead and add your details. So like your telephone number, and then you can go ahead and add a line, reward if found. Now tap done. And then go ahead and lock your screen. And now it'll give you some contact information with a line saying reward if found. So this increases your chance of getting your phone back if it's lost. You have quick emergency references for family or medical contacts. It's simple and discreet, no need to unlock the phone to view it. It gives you peace of mind in case of emergency. And that's it. These seven Samsung Galaxy features can make your device more powerful, personal, and secure. So whether it's boosting performance, customizing your lock screen, or enhancing your multimedia experience, remember these tricks aren't just for the newest models. You can do them on other Samsung Galaxy phones as well. So if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and share so more Galaxy users can discover these hidden gems. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.